Meanwhile, new details developing on the affluenza teenager who is now refusing extradition from Mexico. But how did they wind up in this situation? How did it get this far? And is this a symbol of parenting simply gone way off the rails? Well, here to weigh in, the best-selling author of Your Kids Are Your Own Fault. Larry <laughs> Wingett joins us now, motivational speaker. Great to have you with us. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. So obviously this is an extreme situation of bad parenting with this affluenza teenager clearly not learning his lesson than going to Mexico after he was about to have to, to face the music. Um, but how do parents use this situation to, to learn something and make sure their kids know actions have consequences? Listen, every parent should watch this and it should terrify them. Yeah. While this is an extreme case, we all need to realize as parents, we sort of create this behavior in our children. The problem is we confuse what we do with love. And this is not love when you never say no to your kid. In fact, it's paramount to child abuse in my opinion. Uh, we need to understand that true love is teaching your kid right from wrong and then allowing them to feel the pain and consequences of their behavior. Right. This child has been sheltered. And the sad thing is everybody's looking at this kid saying, what a rotten, horrible kid this is. And I'm not going to argue with them about that, except to remind them this kid is the result of lousy parenting. She yeah. created an out of control teenager. She probably had an out of control toddler too. Yeah, you're probably right. And I remember at the trial when he was on trial for the murder of those uh, four, uh, killing those four people uh, the defense attorney said look he's got a dysfunctional relationship with his parents they don't know him he doesn't know them he can't help it they're so yep. rich well let's not blame the money there's nothing wrong with having lots of money so let's not blame the money let's blame lack of involvement lack of understanding what good parenting is and good parenting is not shielding your pa your kids from feeling the pain and consequences no. it's allowing them to learn consequences shape behavior well that that uh, action from the affluenza teenager outraged americans over the holidays and so did this picture that went viral a woman was giving a ridiculous amount of presents to her kid under the tree it was so tall almost you could hardly even see the, the angel or the star on top of it so we're asking you this morning how can parents unspoil Wait, their hold on kids a second. there it is look at that those are the presents those are the presents oh boy so how can parents unspoil their kids if they've been giving way too many gifts to their child or somebody else like the grandparents have been spoiling them well, I'd start off by saying, first of all, put down your iPhone. And if your six-year-old has an iPhone, understand you probably have already spoiled your kid. Uh, put down the iPhone, have a conversation about what Christmas is really about. It's about the joy of giving, not how much stuff you get. So start there. Explain what gift giving is about and what Christmas is about and have a conversation. Yeah. Then I'd go straight to you need to display better core values. Listen, if you're a materialistic, narcissistic brand junkie who constantly compares what you have to your neighbors and to people on TV, don't be surprised when your kids always want more and more and more stuff. They will always mirror your behavior. So teach them some core values like honesty and charity and being a good person yeah it, the problem for a lot of parents though larry is they have spoiled their children the kids are spoiled yep. you know the the parents got out the picture took the instagram picture of the christmas tree that you could barely see behind that mountain of presents so what do you do if you've already got the spoiled children how do you unspoil them well you just start saying no I mean, you can't constantly, I mean, giving and getting and more stuff, it's like a good drug. You just want more and more and more of it. At some point, you got to be a parent and say no. And you need to remind your kids, it's okay to want stuff. It doesn't mean you get everything you want. That's yeah. a tough lesson in life. You don't get everything you want. It's sometimes good to just want. Sadly, we want stuff, and then we get stuff, and then we're not satisfied with yeah. it. So we kind of need to dial down that want factor and start to be satisfied with what we have. Have. But it all starts with parents getting good at saying no. Be the parent. Yeah, no means no, and don't be a pushover after you've said no and then reverse that decision and say yes. Exactly. Larry Wingett, thank you so much. Best selling author of you Your Kids Are Your Own Fault. Thank Appreciate you, Larry. your time today. Happy New Year. A handwritten note never hurt anybody either, did it? This would be a good resolution for parents out there. Just occasionally say no. Yeah. Say no when you need to say no. 29 minutes.